this is a question I, I gotta ask. Yes, hell yeah. Now, you started out with Puff. Yeah. Do you do you ever reflect back and, and wonder how things have would have turned out if y'all would have stuck and wrote it out on Bad Boy? Do I ever think about because y'all was yeah y'all, y'all was like yeah. next to Big yeah, Mace. Man. Y'all up. was y'all was going to be the franchise like mm-hmm. if it was a team y'all would have definitely been the franchise players like yeah of course. Um, did, did you ever think? Nah, you know what? I, I never reflect back to that, man. Shout out to Puff, too. I got to say that for even giving up publishing back and actually, like, you know what I'm saying, coming at us to even make this next Locks project and all that, like the past of the past. Um, it, it was it was, it was, was time, man. It was time, and it was it was, it was was written to me. Everything was real written. Like, like when, when Big died, everything changed, man. It was just a whole movement of, of how he was wanting, wanting things to be, and us, us three guys, that wasn't for us. So we had to make that move. And these guys that was our managers, y'all know the whole story, but these guys that, are, that was our managers really understood it. And they had the vision to start their own label. So we said, you know what, though? We're going to come with y'all, man, and make this pop. Not to mention Jimmy and I being in them paying the two million to get them from get us from Bruce. I, I never reflected back. It was like things were changing in that house. Mm-hmm. Shit was getting different on that block. So I had to leave it. I had to, I had to move on. And what's your relationship now with, with Puff? Puff is my nigga. Yeah, Puff is my nigga. I love the Ciroc. I love it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. Real talk. Like, you know, we went had ups and downs. Everybody heard the radio and, mm-hmm. up, you know, him getting at us, we getting at him. That was the, you know. That's what it happened. That's what happened. and living and learning and, and, and um, you know, and things like that, man. But we grown now, man. And, and um, we done so much shit after that. Yeah. You know, it's been ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I want to shout out D, man, because I actually got a chance to get up with D. D right Y-Y? before, yeah, right yeah, before yeah, he yeah, went yeah, in, yeah. like two Just days before he day. went in, mm-hmm. he granted me this exclusive interview. Yeah. And he definitely talked about y'all and how yeah. much he was looking forward to this new Locks album yeah. and how much he was looking forward D to it. D is my man. Yeah, yeah. Hold your head. Good, I spoke to him. At, we was uh, shooting a kiss video, phony fake joint. He called, everybody mm-hmm. like, passed the phone around. You know how niggas do it. Uh huh. What up, mm-hmm. fam? Like, yeah, so, yeah, that's my man. I told him how to game plan when he get home and it's on. Yeah. So, this is holding it down on here for you, too, fam. Real well, talk. So, do you have any more questions, D? Uh, you ever, you, you ever listen to your old albums and just start rocking? <laughs> yeah, I always pop them joints in. And, you know, with me personally, like, I know, because y'all always heard Kiss and Styles and me, like, mm-hmm. in a cut. For me personally, I pop them old shits in, and I'm like, damn, B, I'm a monster right now. I wish, <laughs> I wish that shit right there was back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I wish that was back, like right now. Like, because you know right I mean? now, like to be honest yeah. with you, like I only rock my CD. Unfortunately, yeah. my CD player only yeah. plays Life After Death for some uh-huh. strange reason. You know what I'm saying? Real but talk, when I hear talk. when I hear y'all first album, like yeah. it's crazy now like yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. better than half of the drinks on radio i feel like that with a lot of people like to me nas his old stuff back then is better than what these boys are spitting now like you did so it's some some dudes it's classic man that's why and we don't overdo it like you know what i mean we, we that's why i think we still relevant okay yeah. we, we talked about he talked about life and death you talked about big yeah but when that movie came out, did you feel like y'all should have had some kind of Word. portion or part in that? Because you know because why? Because you I guys didn't. were so close to mm-hmm. the situation.